This video will include some extra problems with mole conversions. The first thing that I want you to try and review when you're preparing for these mole conversion problems is this flow chart which indicates uh, the general concepts in, in terms of how these different variables are connected. Um, and so what we have in the middle here is moles. And so we've got conversion factors going from moles to particles, moles to mass, and moles to volume. Particles, to remind you, are things like atoms, molecules, or formula units. So as a, a general process, if you're looking at this flow chart, if you need to go from mass to moles, or moles to volume, or particles to moles, or moles to particles, or any of those things, those are one-step conversion factors. However, if you wanted to go to something from like mass to volume, that's a two-step process because mass isn't directly connected to volume. If you want to go from mass to volume, you need to go from mass to moles and then to volume. The conversion factor between mass and moles is the molar mass. The conversion factor between moles and volume is 22.4 liters in one mole. The conversion factor between moles and particles, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or molecules or formula units in one mole. All right, so getting this general conceptual lay of the land will help you to tackle these problems because you'll kind of know where you're starting and where you're ending up. You have to memorize 22.4 liters, and you have to memorize 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles in one mole. To find the molar mass, you have to look at the periodic table. And so generally speaking, that is how these problems will shake out. Having a good idea of where you're starting and where you're going to is important here. And so I'll refer back to this at a couple times as I go through this video. So on this first problem, it says, what is the mass of 2.504 moles of carbon tetrachloride? Okay, so first, we're going from moles, what we're given in the problem, to mass. All right, looking back at our flow chart, if you're going from moles to mass, that is a one-step conversion. All right, we're going from moles to mass, and we use the molar mass as the conversion factor. Then you have to remember, you get the molar mass from the periodic table. All right, so carbon tetrachloride, in order to figure out what its molar mass is, we need to look at the periodic table, and we need to figure out what the substance is. This is a covalent sub substance, carbon tetrachloride. That means four chlorines, so CCl4 is what we're dealing with. To find the molar mass, you look at the periodic table. Carbon has a mass of 12.01, all right, and then you add four times the mass of chlorine, since there are four chlorines, and that's 35.45. All right, and you get all those together, and it equals 153.81 grams. All right, so that's our molar mass, and we use that as a conversion factor to get between grams and moles. So then we always start our conversion problem with the number that they give us from the periodic table. So we've got 2.504 moles. That's our starting number, 2.504 moles. All right, and usually we indicate the substance, so C, CL4. All right, then we want to go from moles of CCL4 to grams of CCL4. So we put moles in the bottom so it will cancel out with the moles that's in the top. And then we use that molar mass that we found from the periodic table, the 153.81. Alright, and that takes us through um, to find hopefully the answer here. You multiply through on the top. We've got four significant figures in 2.504. 153.81 is five significant figures. Oh, it's per one mole. And that one is an infinitely many significant figures thing. So the rounding on the molar mass comes with the 153.81. So we've got four and five, basically, that we're comparing here on the top. And so we will go with four in our final answer because you go with the smallest number of significant figures. And we get three, 385.1. 
So we rounded that to four significant figures, and it has to have the correct label on it, so it's grams of CCl4. On to the second problem. We are converting between liters and moles, all right, because it says moles and liters, so that's volume here. So what we do, again, we start with what's given, 224 liters of hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas is H2. All right. Then we use the conversion factor that we know going from liters to moles. All right. We want to cancel out liters of H2 and get it into moles of H2. All right. And hopefully if you've memorized the correct conversion factors, you know that it's 22.4 liters in one mole. If you do that, you should get 10. But our answer here, you need to consider sig figs. 22.4 has three sig figs. 224 has three sig figs. That one mole of H2 is, again, that perfect number one, and so that's infinitely many. And so we go for the smallest number here, which is three. All right. So the number 10 written with three sig figs is 10.0 moles of H2. Number three, it says we have 3.56 times 10 to the 25th formula units of calcium carbonate, and I want to know how many moles you have. So on this one, uh, a couple things. Formula units are a type of particle. All right, so we're going to use particles to moles or moles to particles as our conversion here. Um, the other thing we have to figure out what this calcium carbonate is. Calcium is Ca2+. Plus. All right, calcium carbonate is an ionic substance. You can identify that because its formula starts with a metal. So calcium is Ca2+, plus. carbonate is CO3, 2 minus. So uh, you see those fit together right nicely there. All right, it's just going to be one calcium, one carbonate. So we end up with CaCO3 as our substance that we're dealing with. We actually don't really need necessarily to know um, the formula of the substance for this problem, but I think it's good practice. So we start here, 3.5. 6 times 10 to the 25th formula units, which I'm going to abbreviate FUN, period, formula units, of calcium carbonate, CaCO3. All right, and then we need to get out of formula units and into moles. All right, so we want to cancel out formula units. and we want to get that into moles of CaCO3. And we know that there is, for one mole, there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. All right, formula units. And so we do 3.56 times 10 to the 25th divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That's three sig figs and three sig figs. And we end up with 59.1 moles of CaCO3. All right, so, so far, all of these problems have been just one-step problems. You've been going from something to moles. All right, but we're going to show here on all the rest of these problems, there are going to be two steps. So this first one says, how many atoms do you have if there's 22 grams of iron? So we are going from atoms, which is particles. Oh, sorry, we're going from grams to atoms. Okay, so grams is mass, and we're going to atoms. And so if you look here, we're starting at mass, and then we need to go to moles, so we use the molar mass for our first conversion, and then we're going to go from moles to particles, all right, which are, is atoms in this case, all right, so it's a two-step conversion, first going mass to moles, and then going moles to particles. So we start 22 grams of iron. The next step is to convert from grams to moles, so grams of Fe to moles of Fe. And then after we're in moles, we can get to particles. 
All right, so moles of Fe. In this case, we want to get to atoms of Fe. Conversion factors, grams to moles, you're looking at the molar mass from the periodic table. For iron, it's just a, an individual element, so its, its mass comes right off the periodic table. It's 55.85. All right, for, and it's in one mole. Uh, going from moles to atoms, we use that 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is our conversion factor. There are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in one mole. All right, so 22, that number has two sig figs. 55.85 has four sig figs. 6.02 has three sig figs. All right, so we go with two in our answer. If you calculate that, you should get 2.4 times 10 to the 23rd. And then the units on this are atoms of Fe. Point four times 10 to the 23rd atoms of Fe. For problem number five, it says, what is the mass of 34.5 liters of neon? So in this one, we are going from volume to mass. So first we have to go from volume to moles, and then we go from moles to mass, because there's not a direct conversion factor from volume to mass. All right, so we start here. 34.5 liters of neon, that's liters of Ne. Then as I said, we're going from volume to moles first. So we've got liters of Ne to moles of Ne. And then after we get done with that, we want to go from moles of Ne to grams of Ne which is the molar mass as our conversion factor. So liters to moles, the conversion factor, 22.4 liters in one mole. All right, going from moles to grams, we look at the periodic table, and we find the molar mass of neon, and you should find that it is 20.18. 20.18 grams in one mole. All right. 34.5 has three sig figs, 20.18 has four sig figs, 22.4 has three sig figs, so our answer should have three sig figs. If you put it into your calculator, you should get 31.1 grams of any as your answer. Going on to problem number six here. This one, it says, how many formula units are there in 689.3 grams of potassium permanganate? So this one is a bit longer for a couple of reasons. Um, so first, we're going from mass to formula units. That's mass to particles. That means we have to go from mass to moles and then from moles to particles. All right, so we start off here. Actually, before I do this, because I'm, I'm going to want to write the formula out, you have to figure out what potassium permanganate is. Potassium is K plus. Permanganate is MnO4 minus. So potassium permanganate is KMnO4. All right. So we start with 689.3 grams of KMnO4. And then we're going to try and go from grams of KMnO4 to moles of KMnO4. And then we get out of moles of KMnO4, so we want that in the bottom to cancel out moles of KMnO4. And we want to get into formula units, which I'll abbreviate FUN again, formula units. 
of k min 4. Conversion factors going from grams to moles. You need the molar mass from the periodic table, so you have to look that up. If you find it for k min 4, you find them individually. It's got one potassium, one manganese, four oxygens. Add those all up you should get 158.04 for your molar mass, 158.04 grams. So in one mole, there's 158.04 grams. And then for formula units to moles, we know that there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. All right, formula units in one mole. So then we have four significant figures for 689.3. We have five significant figures for 158.04, but we have just three significant figures for the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. When you calculate this, you should round to three significant figures, and you get 2.63 times 10 to the 24th and its formula units, formula units of K and O4. All right, um, number seven. It says, what is the volume of 7.79 times 10 to the 21st molecules of nitrogen gas? All right, so we're looking for volume, and I'm given molecules, all right? So we start with molecules. 7.79 times 10 to the 21st molecules of nitrogen gas. That's N2, because nitrogen is diatomic. We want to get out of molecules of N2 and into moles of N2. All right, and then we want to get out of moles of N2 and into liters because it's asking for volume. We know in one mole there's 22.4 liters. We know for molecules to moles that there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in one mole. For sig figs in this one, all of the numbers have three significant figures except for the one mole on each one of those, and those, those are the ones we kind of ignore because they have infinitely many. And so we end up having to round our answer to three significant figures on this one. We get 0 0.290 liters of N2. For number eight, this one, uh, we're given molecules, it asks for the mass, and we're talking about dinitrogen monoxide. Dinitrogen monoxide is N2O. All right, it's a covalent substance, so you just go with the prefixes. Um, just to find the mass of that right now, you take two times the mass of nitrogen, add it to the mass of oxygen, and you should find that it is 44.02 grams. All right, so we'll use that as our molar mass as our conversion factor between mass and moles later on in the problem. So we start here with what's given, 2.4 times 10 to the 25th molecules of N2O. And we want to get from molecules to moles, first of all, so molecules N2O to moles, N2O. And then we want to get from moles to mass. So we cancel out moles of N2O on the bottom and get to mass, grams of N2O on the top. Conversion factors going from moles to molecules. In one mole, there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. 
All right, and then grams to moles, we use the molar mass, so 44.02 grams in one mole. This one, because that 2.4 times 10 to the 25th is just two significant figures, we're limited to two sig figs in our answer, so we have to round it to two significant figures. What we end up with there is 1,800 grams of N2O. The zeros at, at the end of this number don't matter because they are trailing zeros without a decimal point. So this has two sig figs. For number nine, it says how many molecules are in 385 liters of methane gas at STP? So this one we are going from volume to molecules. We start 385 liters of CH4. All right, then we want to get out of liters and into moles. So liters CH4 to moles CH4. Then we want to get out of moles of CH4 and into molecules of CH4. conversion factor going from liters to moles. We know that there are 22.4 liters in one mole. Uh, conversion factor going from mole to molecules. We know that in one mole there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And so we uh, look here, there are three sig figs in all of these, so our answer should have three sig figs. If you calculate that, you get 1.03 times 10 to the 25th. And the units on that are molecules of CH4. For the last one here, um, it says, what's the volume of 890.3 grams of carbon monoxide? Okay, so carbon monoxide is CO. It has a molar mass, which we're, we're going to need in the problem because we have a mole to mass conversion. It has a molar mass of 28.01 grams. So what we've got here is 890. 0.3 grams of CO, and we want to get out of grams of carbon monoxide and into moles of carbon monoxide, and then we want to get out of moles of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and we want to get into grams, no sorry, we want to get into liters of CO. Conversion factors going from grams to moles, 28.01 grams in one mole. That's the molar mass from the periodic table. Moles of CO to liters, in one mole there's 22.4 liters. So calculate this. We've got four sig figs, four sig figs and three sig figs. So our answer has three. You should get 712 liters of CO. Okay. So as you've gone through and checked your answers on these sections, I hope that you are checking everything about it. Are the sig figs right? Are the units right? You know, it should, for all intents and purposes, look exactly like the answer that I got. So make sure that you double check and that you're getting those things. And if you have any questions about this or how I'm doing anything or what I, I decide in terms of my answer, make sure you come in and ask.